What's up guys, welcome to the Macintosh Review. Today is the big day, Apple had their WWDC today and as promised, I wanted to do a hands-on review of iOS 10. I have iOS 10 Beta 1, which was released today here, installed on my iPhone 6S, as you guys can see here from the settings app, version 10.0, and I just wanted to run through the features that Apple revealed and let you guys know my thoughts, so let's jump right into it. First off, Apple began with the lock screen and they introduced a feature called Raise to Wake, which prevents you from actually missing notifications due to the crazy fast Touch ID sensor on the iPhone 6S. To show you guys how that actually works, I'm going to go ahead and lock my device here. All you have to do is raise and pick up your device, and as you can see, the lock screen turns on. This prevents you from actually just skipping those notifications due to the crazy fast speed of the Touch ID sensor here. Pretty helpful feature. Next up, you're going to be able to use 3D Touch to interact with your notifications directly right here on the home screen, and the Notification Center has been updated to be exclusively notifications, and if you watch the demo, you'll be able to see that there's actually a ton of awesome ways to interact with your notifications here. Speaking of interacting with information on the lock screen, we actually have widgets here to the left. This is actually to take the place of the Today View, and you can actually click to show more or less information, and you can also interact with applications, read the news, all directly on the lock screen. I really like this, actually, and I think this makes makes it a lot easier to separate your notifications versus the information you want to see. You can also swipe to the right here to get directly to the camera and take photos. Simply click the home button to go right back to the lock screen. Now in the notification center you will actually be able to push and hold and use 3D Touch to clear all your notifications which is what we had on jailbroken devices which is pretty cool now that it's integrated. Also on the lock screen we have a totally redesigned control center. It's been optimized for 3D Touch and they also have a new music screen that's been optimized for 3D Touch as well. Same toggles there. There, just makes it a little bit easier to interact with. As you can see, you can actually use 3D Touch, so the rumors were correct. They also have the AirPlay settings right here, so you're not actually missing anything, and it makes it easy to jump right into your music right there from the lock screen. Now moving to the home screen, something that's interesting is to actually unlock your device. You can see at the bottom here it says press home to open. You actually have to press the home button to unlock your device, which is a little strange, but it works for me. I'm not really going to complain. Now also speaking of 3D Touch, they really have taken the time to integrate it into third-party applications and almost all the applications on the device here. As you can see, if I do 3D Touch here on music or mail, it's a much fuller view than you can get. You could even actually read your mail messages right there in 3D Touch. Uh, same goes for a lot of apps here. You can see that the phone right there, you can see more information and it's just integrated better into the device. Now again, if you scroll to the left, you get the widgets that are similar to Android here just to replace the look of the Today View. Now these are all live updates. Apple wanted to make it prominent to know that news and everything in here is going to be live updated in the background. And really, that's the heart of iOS 10, the new lock screen and home screen experience. They've really integrated 3D Touch and I think this is because a lot of jailbreak tweaks were starting to use 3D Touch, and Apple kind of saw that and integrated it directly into the operating system. Now, Siri is also going to be open for developers. It's going to be able to actually use a lot of third-party applications, so developers will be able to do things such as ride booking via Siri and Uber integration. I think this was to probably make it competitive between Google and Amazon, which have been really focusing on voice as of late. They also have updated the Quick Type keyboard, which can follow you more easily in writing. That's this little bar above the keyboard here that you guys are probably familiar with. Now, Photos has a couple new updates. They actually have added photo locations and advanced facial recognition. I don't have any photos right now to show you guys that, but that's going to be very helpful for those of you guys who, who like to take a lot of photos. Now, Maps has been updated. They actually have been working on suggestions. As you can see down here, they added a new screen to show your favorites. And as you search locations, it'll get to know what you like to search for. It's also going to be similar to Waze with traffic. I've heard they've added a lot of new features to make it easier to avoid big amounts of traffic. Maps is also being open to developers, so things like Uber and and Yelp can actually integrate their information directly into Maps. A big theme in iOS 10 is that Apple has actually opened it to developers. I think this was to kind of unfortunately get rid of jailbreaks, but you know, if they can integrate all this directly into the operating system, I think at some point we won't really need a jailbreak. So it's good to see them integrating these things regardless. Now they did also update a bunch of apps. The news application has been updated. As you can see, it's just got a new design. Nothing really too spectacular. I mean, it's just a news app. They've made it similar to Flipboard. Apple Music has been totally redesigned. As you guys can see, it's a much simpler simpler design and this was actually demoed and the woman at the conference tried to get the, all the people in the audience singing which I thought was a little funny but you know. Anyways it's a lot easier to use to actually see what's saved on your device. They made the library the first tab and Apple Music just looks a lot simpler. Now for those of you who use HomeKit they've added this new application called Home. You can see that you can control your home. You can also set reminders and share access to change all the settings of the electronics that are controlled via your iPhone in your home. So that's really cool to see Apple 
actually adopting all the new HomeKit future technology and integrating it directly into iOS. Now something a lot of you guys I know you guys wanted was to be able to delete applications off the iPhone that were stock applications and Apple didn't actually announce this but as you can see you can actually delete Apple applications just like how you would delete any other application. Don't get worried too if you want to re-download it it will be in the App Store. Now the phone has also been updated. You can actually have voicemail transcriptions in there which will allow you to read your voicemails rather than listening to it 10 times. And it will also give you spam notifications for whoever's calling you, possible spam. And they have gained a voice over IP API. So for calls from Skype or anything like that, it will actually be able to be routed through your phone application to the lock screen just like any other call would be. Now messages has actually been hugely updated. When you go into messages and you wanna send somebody a link, they'll actually be able to see the preview of the link as well and they They've added rich links. They've also added richer camera features so you can actually scribble all over photos kind of like Snapchat and send it to people directly in the Messages app. As you guys can see the design of the Messages app has also been updated. They actually have opened it to developers as well so you can actually have Messages apps right there that give you more complete emojis, GIFs and really make it more of a complete experience. Emojis are actually a main focus of iOS 10. They're actually three times bigger in text so when you actually go and type it into your device it's going to show up three times bigger as you can see there. Emojis are also predictive so I can go ahead and type pizza here and then type the emoji and it'll actually show you that that can be replaced. You simply tap on the word and it'll be replaced by the emoji. Pretty awesome. They're also allowing for bubble effects. So when you send a message for someone and you click this little up arrow, you'll get an option to actually make the bubble itself either like move around the screen or do a whole screen effect. It's really, really cool and a really cool way to interact with your friends. As you guys can see in the middle here, this is actually a handwritten message in digital touch section. So you can actually do just like you can on the Apple Watch, show your heartbeat or just write something to your friends and send it with a whole screen effect. Really, really cool. And messages has also been open to any developer, as I said before, really awesome ways to customize messaging. So overall guys, that was every feature that Apple actually showed off in iOS 10 at the WWDC today. Obviously there are features that are not included in this review. I'll be doing hidden feature reviews later in the summer as time goes on and as I find more features. But outside of these main features, you guys can see that they updated just a couple of the animations I'm sure you guys saw when I was going through the operating system. But I'm going to have to investigate for more features. I'll be doing more reviews in the near future, as I just said for you guys. So be sure to subscribe and write thumbs up so you don't miss those. And also be sure to follow my Twitter, Facebook, Google Plus page, and website all down in the description, guys. Easy way to follow me and it'll keep you up to date. In terms of a jailbreak, I'll keep you guys updated on that as well, as you guys will know. So stay tuned for those videos as well. And check out the links in the description to get paid iOS and Android apps for free. As always, guys, I'll catch you in the next video. Stay awesome. Peace.